All right, uh, moving on to our next task. Uh, we have these phone numbers. We have two columns here, phone and fax number, that they have uh, different formatting, and they're actually not in the final format that we would like. We would like the final format to be uh, area code within parentheses, and then the three digits, dash, four digits type format. Uh, but before we get there, we, we do have this mixed formatting right now. We have dashes and one, all numbers and another. And potentially there could be open and closing parentheses uh, somewhere down the line as well that we are not seeing right now. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to clean up uh, the formatting that is there now to end up with just numbers and then apply the formatting that we want. So to do that, we'll go ahead and uh, right click on the header here, go to replace values. And this option lets us basically swap one value for another one. So what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and uh, put our dash there, replace with nothing, we'll leave it blank. We'll click OK and that get rid gets rid of our dash. We can also go ahead and replace uh, null with nothing. That will get rid of all those null values there. We can also do that here in this other uh, column. And now it's telling us to enter a number value on this other side. So what is going on here? Well, what's going on here is that uh, these two columns are uh, different types. Uh, the fax number is a text type which includes characters. The phone number is showing that it's a num numeric type that will not accept uh, uh, characters. Uh, uh, empty space blank is a character, so it, it's asking for a number to go in there. So we don't want to do that. We're going to go ahead and cancel that. We're going to change the type of the phone column to text. And now we can go ahead and replace that value. So again, null, replace with nothing, now it's gone. So now we've replaced uh, dashes, we've replaced nulls. Um, just to make sure, let's go ahead and replace by selecting the header, so it applies to the whole column here. Replace, um, opening uh, parentheses with nothing. And we'll do the same with closing parentheses. And we'll do the same thing on the fax number column. So now we are left with pretty much two columns that are clean of all but the numbers that we need. So now we're going to move on to the next step, which is actually formatting these phone numbers the way we want them to be. We'll start with the phone column. Uh, what I'm going to be doing here is s s splitting the uh, column here. So we're going to go to transform, split column by number of characters. And I want the first three uh, characters here on the left side, which is the area code. I'm going to click OK. And now I got uh, the first three characters split out. Now it's going to go ahead and make that detection, automatic detection, which is going to transform this into a number uh, a column again. That's going to produce some prompts later on. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of that and make it a text uh, uh, column. So that one is done. We're going to do the same thing here on phone. Uh, dot two, which is to split the column, take the first three digits on the left side, and now 2.1 and 2.2 .2 are uh, split here. We'll go ahead and make this a text, replace, and text, replace. Okay, so now we have all the components for our phone number. 
formatted as text, which is what we need, so that we can add uh, symbols uh, to it. So now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to add a column. It's going to be a custom column. I'm going to name it phone. And now I'm going to enter uh, the formatting that I want with the values that I want. So we said we want it. And open parentheses for the area code. We're going to concatenate here the first three digits. We're going to close the parentheses with a space. And now we are going to add the next three digits. And I'm just double clicking here on the available column selection to make it jump into our formula. Then we're going to add our dash. And finally, we'll add the last component of the phone number. Seems like uh, the query or the Power Query understands what we're trying to do. No errors. We're going to click OK. And now it adds this new column here with our phone number properly formatted. Let's go ahead and bring this over. And now that we have our formatted uh, phone number, we do not need these three columns. So select Shift and select the end. Right click and remove columns. And this is how we get our formatted number. Again, we got no values. Go ahead and select that, replace with nothing, and that kind of cleans up our column. And that is it. That is how you would uh, format uh, phone numbers in this case. Obviously, you could select a different format, and you wish you would just make the appropriate uh, character replacements uh, on the formula to end up with the format that you would like. Uh, that is the end of the video. Uh, obviously, just to format the fax, the fax numbers, we would do the very same step uh, over on this column.